All right, guys, Tristan here with 6AM Outdoors. Uh, we got two new shelters here we're going to set up for you guys so you guys can see them. Uh, we've got uh, one of them is going to be called our Four Corners, and the other one's called the Bitterroot. Um, I'm going to set up the Four Corners first, and it's going to have hatches as well. So, this is our Four Corners in 1.1 Sil Poly, and this is what we have our hatches for them, and this is 1.6 ounce Sil Poly. So just so you guys can see uh, what, what this is coming in at. So just the shelter body alone. I don't know if it's picking it up or not. It's coming at one pound, three ounces. And that's with zippers on this half. And then coming in for our hatches. It's coming at right at one pound. So... I'm going to set these things up so you guys can uh, take a look at it and then we'll set up the bitterroot next so you guys can see uh, the similarities, differences. Uh, the bitterroot, um, I wanted some, some type of functionality that wasn't out there with a the complete pass-through design. So if I am on the early season, um, I'm able to carry just the main shelter body I don't have to worry about carrying uh, doors hatches uh, stove jack you know cause I'm not gonna need them so what I ended up doing uh, is came out with a very very simple design um, it's just uh, two panels sewn together same height all the way across um, and it does not have an enclosed back so I have that full pasture design that I wanted for the early season. Uh, I don't have to worry about dropping the end down, losing headspace. Uh, it's going to be the same headspace throughout. So uh, let's get started um, and I'll walk through some more specs here in a little bit. First things first, we'll just grab the shelter, and like I said, uh, this one here is going to be a pasture design, so it's going to be able to stay the same slope all the way across. It's not going to come down like some of our other ones or other ones on the market. Uh, you have the same headspace all the way across, so you're not going to have to be face to face with your partner. You can be, uh, you know, at the other end of the shelter and not be your face to face. So what we'll do is we'll grab one corner here and we'll just make a, a simple stake in the ground. And what's nice about, about this one is that it's gonna end up being four feet tall, uh, but the main difference is it's gonna be six feet wide. So some of the other ones uh, we came across, they're gonna be much narrower. And when you try to get two people in there, you're gonna be crammed. So what we have here is we've got six foot. So this main shelter body is eight feet long. So every tie out is every two feet. So what we can do is we can just simply grab this corner in here. So we can see here you've got two, four, six foot. Come over here. Take this one in. We'll grab this other corner. Hook it up. Next thing is, is we'll grab a stake, get some cord here. Now, what we like to do, which every backpacker already should know how to do, already does do on a shelter is we just do a regular slip knot across the, uh, the beak here. And what we do to pitch it is since it already is going to be four foot tall, we already know that on our sides here, we've got the four foot mark already. So what we can do is take your trekking pole, branch, line it up, and it's going to be four foot not you can just adjust it this is already set for four foot 
So what we'll do is we'll come over here, get ready for our slip knot. Now it's got an open end overhand knot on this one. I'm going to undo it. We like to run the overhand knot on one end and a slip knot on the other. And that being is you have the ability to tighten it um, without having to restate. Now once again, we're not reinventing the wheel here. This has already been done. All we do is just using other techniques that are coming from backpacker, lightweight personnel side of the field. And that's what everybody, we go to these shows and they say, well, geez, this is just marvelous. And I'm like, well, it's already on the market. You know, it's just, we're just taking a, another design, doing our twist on it, where we find flaws just like this one. I wanted a pass-through design. There's no one else that has a pass-through design without dropping a back end or having a fully enclosed back end. So what we'll do is we'll grab this bar stake and I'll stake it down. And what we'll do on this back corner, same thing is we'll grab this other stake or this other truck and pull. As you see, it's windy. But we'll set this back up here. And what we'll do is I'll go back to the end closest to the camera here. And then what we want to do is we're going to grab another corner. Let's take it down. Some of this area is pretty soft because it's in our backyard that we're getting ready to put some sod in. Throw it again. Another stink. Avoid a rock here. It is, it is rocky. Okay. Same thing on this end. We're going to have a slip knot to pitch the beak. Set this up. I can already see that this is crooked here, so I'll just come in and adjust that. And if you see, you've got the tight pitch already across the top. If you get it, since it is a slip knot, you can just come here and tighten them up. So it's already tight enough. Lastly, We'll grab, grab some stakes and some more cord. And what I'll do is I'll go on the side here. We'll tie some guy out. And what we do here is you could do, you could do slip knots on this as well, but I do an overhand and I just feed it back through itself. straight through the center one. Now this is the simple method. If you do do slip knots on both ends, you can tighten them off of both ends. That's not a bad thing, but for simplicity's sake, I just do an overhand on one end, a slip knot on the other.
got my two stakes here. I can just pick a pick a location since it is on a slip knot. Come over here. center one, just tighten up your slip knot. Lastly what you do is you go around the perimeter and do all your stakes. I'm going to leave one end that does not have the guy outs on. The other side you have the guy outs on so you can see that it gives you much more headroom. Now what I do, like I said, spring bear, scouting, whatever you want, you can see that you can climb in here with two people and you can glass outside of it. You don't have to worry about dropping the back end down. You can actually leave these here, have some more twigs, branches, or other your buddy's trekking poles, bring this end up. Now you've got a lean-to design. Um, but early season, this is what I do. I bring just this for cover. Uh, it's got a clothesline in it, so if you do get sweaty feet, you can hang your socks. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's, it's very, very simple, but very functional at the same time. Lastly, I want to show you guys is some of our hatches. Now, we do have these in two different fabrics so people can see the differences. Like I said, this is 1.1 silk poly. This is 1.6. And what we got is a three-season shelter. Once you add these on... You can become a four season shelter because this one, for example, has a stove jack built into it. So I can throw the titanium stove from Light, out, light Outdoors. And what we'll do is I can go all year round camping in this thing. And it's a hot tent, it's just wonderful. Don't have to worry about being cold. Only thing is, is it's you know single wall, so you do get condensation in it. It doesn't retain heat very. I mean, like like uh, a canvas would. But now I'll grab some more sticks. more on the sides but what we do is if you do get some bad weather now you have fully enclosed shelter uh, we do have a obviously the hatches come on both ends so coming and going both sides do open uh, you got your tie out here to keep your door open as well uh, you can come and go uh, his and her on both ends uh, if you do have a stove here, uh, it does kind of get on this half, so you do squeeze through this side. Um, uh, yeah, if you don't need to, you can. I mean, if you want to, you can go through the other the other door. Um, but here's a stove jack. So once you run a stove in here, your stove will pop right through the Nomax fabric. This is just Velcro here at the top or hook and loop. So this is very simple rundown, quick rundown of our Yellowstone, or sorry, not Yellowstone. This is our four corner shelter that does have the hatches and a stove jack. So you buy the main body and it's a modular system. You decide what you want. If you want just the main body, you get the main body. Um, if you want to add the hatches, you can add the hatches. You can add a stove jack. Um, if you want the zippered options, you can add zippers option. Other other option we have is on our hatches. If just uh, we have the one-inch webbing that hooks over your stakes and right in where your 
uh, trekking pole goes. Only thing is, if you get headwind or tailwind, it, since it is going to be a pass-through design, you're going to have some wind blowing through there. So we do recommend having the zippered options. Um, but as you can see here, how much more headroom it has. You know, once both sides are pulled out, um, plenty of room for two people. Uh, you do have the same same head width all the way across. You don't lose anything off the back end, dropping it down. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call, 253-797-6424, and we will talk to you later. Thank you.